Welcome to District 1. Welcome to this meeting in front of this University of East End, this University of Anguilla, this place that has been responsible, this sacred place that has been responsible for producing so much of, of us, for giving us so many opportunities, for helping to, to form me. My, my first year in school was right here in that back room. Junior standards, that's right, all the way from Island Harbor we had to walk to get here. And that formed, that was the beginning of, I think, an important character building exercise. Can you imagine what the future could hold if we effectively utilize our historical knowledge of Borton, for example, to develop a thriving local economy? How different Island Harbor could be. District 1, we have the skills and we have opportunities to develop a prosperous voting industry. We have untapped knowledge right here in District 1 to create hundreds, hundreds of well-paid jobs and to carve a nation tourism that will survive crises, world crises, right here in this beautiful part of the island that we love so much, right here in front of the school. We can draw on these resources to diversify Anguilla's tourism product to include ecotourism, heritage tourism, so that visitors can enjoy our wonderful bird life. I applaud the vision and hard work of Colville Petty and setting up the Heritage Museum right here in, in a place he values. It had to be an act of love to have struggled and endured to put something from a concept into action. And I congratulate him for that achievement and I congratulate the people of Anguilla that we have such amazing people, so much talent within ourselves. Let's look around and see what role each of us can play, what strength we can build together, can put together to diversify and transform District 1 into something they cannot imagine is possible in five years. Just think about it. The people next to you, let's build a matrix, let's list all the strengths and talents, let's see what we've got. And I think if you're like me, I walk through the district every day, well not every day, but almost every day. And I have the good fortune, by having declared myself as a candidate in this election, to talk to many, many people. Bola, how lovely it is to see you. You know, so many people who have such incredible strength and bravery, who have such perseverance, who have so much talent, who is doing so much that the other person doesn't know about. We are such a resourceful people in District 1 and in District 2. Let's celebrate each other. Let's come together and transform this place. Yes, we can. Diversifying our national tourism product will bring jobs. Another great concern that affects every single family, household, and business is the high cost of energy. Electricity. The high cost of energy. Coupled with all the other things, water, cable, everything, people can hardly cope. But in District 1, we need cheaper and more environmentally friendly energy. And that is why we must embrace alternative supplies. And guess what? We've got incredible ideas. In the APP, again, we'll be amazed how we can roll out and how we can deliver these answers. We won't tell you too much now because you know what the front is like. They will incorporate it into their climate change address and then 
it will become their idea. But I want to promise you, and you hold me accountable for this, if ever you get the APP, put your support behind that group. District 1 will lead the effort in terms of that alternative supply. And you know what? Automatically, without much stretch or much effort, we will be better off. We will be more prosperous. Just with a little bit of investment of good creative energy and knowing what the trends are in the world and understanding, understanding those trends. Understanding the incredible opportunity. We're, we're starting it in District 1. This is where it's going to be. District 1, in the next several years, if you support Jerome, myself, and the other members of the APP, will be a remarkably different place. It will be a positive, happy, beautiful place, and we will do it together. Thank you, yes, hold me to it. You know what, because I'm held to my word, yes, we must do it. And this is probably the time for me to say to you, yeah, many people, many of you say to me, Pam, why now, why now? Why not now? Yes, why indeed, why not now? Now we must do it. Yes, and I'm stepping forward, and as you've all heard, I have no political aspirations in my life. I believe in the rule of law, I believe in the justice, I believe in confronting government in court, I believe in showing them what they've done wrong, I believe in all of that. But recently, I believe in building something from scratch. The offshore finance industry in Angola, which we're proud of, but which the Minister of Finance neglected, we did it. From, from scratch, we did it. We absolutely did it. We can do it from scratch. Whether it is wind or solar energy, offshore finance, we must look at every possibility. And we must all recognize that energy is too important to our development to allow a cartel to monopolize the sector. A cartel, it's too important. The buy must be for everybody. No cartels in an APP administration. Yeah. That's why it came out. You ask me why? I believe that in order and opportunity, it has to be for the advancement of the disadvantage. This is my need. This is not about Pam Webster. This is about the need to transform and take care of the disadvantage in Anguilla. This is not about building more power blocks. Not at all. This is not about power blocks. Here in District 1, Absolutely, that was my party leader. You know what he's saying? He said, absolutely, we will protect you. The disadvantage, that's why we are here. Absolutely for your protection. Protection against cartels. Protection against leaders who use office for their own purposes and for the accumulation of material wealth for themselves and their friends. I'm 